Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a subtitle tutorial. I subtitle a lot like many other YouTubers such as Quackity, so in today's video I wanted to teach you guys how to make subtitles like me and many other YouTubers. My way of making subtitles makes them look good and it saves you a lot of time. I didn't know about this technique until recently, and it saved me a lot of time while making my videos while making them look better at the same time. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so I'm going to show an example of what this should end up looking like if you do this right. You ready? Bro, first scheme of season four. Okay, so it looks something like that. Now I'll teach you. So I'm just gonna start making this from scratch. I'll just make it say like, bra moment or something stupid like that. So from there, what you're gonna wanna do is just size it up to a right size. Once you think it's good, what you're gonna wanna do is drag it while holding control. So you get these little lines here to line it up in the middle. So once you find a good placement, just leave it there and you're good. One important thing that you're gonna wanna do is highlight this whole entire thing, open this thing up, and then press this middle thing. It'll make sense later. So once you finish doing that, you might have to readjust your text. That's fine. Just do it again. The one thing that I forgot to mention in my original recording is just basically how to style the text. I think I used the same font as Crackity used to use on his second channel. It's called Provocali. I'll leave the link in the description to download it if you guys want to use it yourself. So from there, what I do is just highlight this. I add a stroke here with the whatever color you want. And I just size it at 18. It looks something like that. So the thing that many people do with subtitles is they go in here and they keyframe the source text and then just change the text a million times. I used to do that myself. But then I learned of this new technique where basically all you have to do is just hold alt on your keyboard and then just drag it. It just duplicates it. It's a huge time saver. So from here, all you have to do is just go over to where your next text layer is. Go to the beginning there. And then just change the text to whatever you want. Like for example, I can just spam my keyboard and do something like that. Let me just shorten these a little bit. See, it just changes like that. You could do something like that. So if you want yours to look exactly like mine, we're going to have to do a little bit of work in this transform section here. Make sure it's the one below all the text settings. So I got these scaling numbers for someone named Finzar. I'll leave his channel link in the description. Definitely go check him out. So basically what he does is he just starts this off at 140 here. Keyframes it. Goes forward four frames. Adds 20 to that number, so it'd be 160. And he moves forward another three. And then he subtracts five. So from there, if you play from the beginning, you'll see that you'll get that little pop animation. So basically what you can do from there, so I'll shorten that a little bit. Alt, drag, change the text to whatever the hell I want. So one thing I also forgot to mention was something that we did earlier and how it helps now. We clicked that text center button earlier. So basically what that does is it makes sure that all the text will be typed from the middle as you saw it did when I changed what the text said there. See, it's easy, it makes it look good, and it'll save you a lot of time instead of just keyframing the source text a million times. So that's it for the tutorial. If it helped, definitely let me know by leaving a like and a comment. If you have any questions, I'll be reading all of the comments and trying to answer any of the questions that you guys have. If you guys want, you can also check out some of my other content that I have on my channel. I'm sure some people will end up liking it, so definitely try checking some of my stuff out. So that's it for today's video. If it helped, leave a like and maybe even subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.